All month long, we are highlighting black history makers and change influencers in communities all across our state. Yeah, today that's taking us to Middletown, where local leaders are touring both black and women owned businesses. Fox 61's Keith McGilvery has been taking us inside some of the local shops. Uh, we were looking at some food last time. What do you got now, Keith? Oh, crafty. Oh, something that is perfect for your winter bucket list. Tim and Erica, good morning as I adjust my mask here. Pamela Steele inviting us inside her shop. Pamela Roos, uh, hand knit and yarn. This place is awesome. There's everything in here. Tell us a little bit about your spot. Um, it is a community spot. Um, I love to, anyone who loves to knit or crochet. I have yarn that is... Um, a wide range to fit everybody's budget and that's one of the things I don't want anybody to feel that they can't do this craft because they feel it's too expensive. Um, just come in and see me. I work within your budget um, but I just love what I do and I love the sense of community that knitting and crocheting brings together. I have a lot of uh, male knitters. I have a lot of Wesleyan students that come in so just stop in and see me and I'll help you pick out your perfect project because one of the things I want you to do is be happy when you leave the store that you're leaving with something you can handle. She says I can do this. I like where your head is at. Uh, we are celebrating Black History Month. What does it mean to you to be a black owned business? Um, I feel like I have to set the example. Um, it makes me feel good that I'm in this industry since it's not your typical black owned um, business. Um, so I want to show people if you have this craft, if you love or any craft for that matter, that if this is your passion of yours, you can go ahead and start your own business. Um, of course, this is my third or fourth career, but um, but this is where my passion is between that music. This is where my passion is. Love it. And you have some special guests in the store. Mr. Mayor, uh, you are with us as well. A number of black owned businesses in this community were at a great Harmony Cafe and Bakery earlier. What can you do as mayor to support these types of businesses in your community? Well, you know, people come to downtown Middletown and they think of Middletown and they think of our Main Street and our restaurants and our small businesses and our retail shops. And, and people need to understand it. It doesn't happen by accident, right? You know, we have to work together as a community to cultivate this type of thing, uh, to, to keep our businesses open in unusual times, to help uh, folks who have an, a great idea but maybe don't have the capital or don't have the experience to, to get them on their feet. And, um, you know, working with the chamber, working with um, our individual businesses, um, we have people who are helping each other out. And that's really what's great about this community is we have business leaders who are mentoring, including our, our side street to main street minority small business development program. Um, everybody works together and it's not it's it's not competition. You know, it's it's getting everybody working together and, and there's a synergy here. Um, so next time you're in town, you know, if you're coming down to, to grab lunch or dinner, uh, check out some of our retail shops as well. We've got a lot going on. Great so. salesperson for this community. Lieutenant Governor is with us as well. This is more than just feel good. You were talking earlier about some grants specifically targeting female and minority owned businesses. Right. So I have been spending this month visiting black owned businesses, but the state of Connecticut has special resources for women and women owned minority businesses. I was just telling Pamela about this. We have the equity match grant program. So $2,500 to $10,000 grants, not loans, but grants are available to women owned businesses and women of color owned businesses. We'll get that information up on our website. We're going to send it back to you and Tim and Erica, but you tell me I can do this, right? You can do this. I am a great teacher. <laughs> and um, she's a mom. I have a lot of patience. So anyone can do this craft, but it does take some patience. There's always a learning curve. All right. She is a good teacher. I sense a bucket list in my future, Tim and Erica. But for now, with this guy, I'll send it back to you. He is cute. I can or see she. Keith having the patience for it. Yeah. Me, not so much, but Keith. <laughs> You can do it. Patient. <laughs> you can pull Why not? It off. We'll give it a try. Yeah, right. Looks nice and cozy. I think I can do it. Keep I think nice I can do it. it. I agree. All right, Keith, thank you.